24 <laughs> later today. <laughs> Uh, the people who work and live uh, along Main Street in Ellicott City are going to be allowed back into the flood dump damaged area there. Yeah, that's right. But it's all going to happen on a strict schedule. Right. Weather permitting, they will have access to their property every evening through Saturday and all day Sunday. Most debris has been cleared from paved surfaces and crews are working to clear storm drains. They're going to check utility connections over the next few days. The Disaster Assistance Center will be open every day to help victims apply for assistance from various agencies. Well, many of the folks affected by the flood lost everything they had, some for the second time and the second time in less than two years. Yeah, so to help out and help people cope, one local Air Force veteran who specializes in acupuncture is actually providing some relief. Our Makia Turner has more. I can't worry about him anymore. Sorry. It's the one thing that will make me cry. Sorry. Gretchen Shuey, the owner of Bean Hallow Coffee Shop off Main Street in Ellicott City, is still shaken by memories of the flood that ripped through this area almost two years ago. It looked like this. Only last time, customers and employees were trapped. The stress and anxiety, thinking about my staff, and I just can't live like that anymore. Shuey has owned her shop for 16 years, and like so many other business owners in this area, it's been devastating to face this kind of reality again. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. And I was thinking, God, you know, I wish there was something I could do. That's Sarah Beth Dukes, a trauma recovery acupuncturist and Air Force veteran. On Monday, she showed up with the kid at St. Peter's Episcopal Church and asked if she could help. More than 20 flood victims have since used her services. It gives people sort of a breath from that fight or flight. We tried it out while we were there. After signing our name for consent, I used an alcohol wipe to clean my ear before Dukes gently placed five small needles into specific sites on my ear. So each of those points, most of them are corresponded to a particular organ. While some also affect emotion providing a little relief for the stress and anxiety that's affecting some flood victims again. Have you ever done acupuncture? I have not. I've heard good things about it. Though. I actually, yeah, I've only done it a couple of times. Actually, I like it. Really? Yeah, but I asked Makia if it, if it had, had it an impact on her, mm -hmm. and she said she was focusing too much on the story. So she said maybe if she was a little bit more calm, she might have been able to see it, if it was, yeah, had it, any impact. It's something about all those little needles in your body that yeah. is kind of like, like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Well, our impact team also wants you to know about the Howard County Food Bank. Volunteers are taking donations and non-perishable foods as well. The food bank is along Gerwig Lane in Columbia. Drop-off hours run from 10 to 4. We've got all the information on how to donate as well as volunteer at WUSA9.com impact.